Hey guys, today is one day closer to leaving, which means we have a lot of stuff we've got to do. I don't want to do this stuff. Do you? I don't either, but it needs to be done. RV needs to be cleaned. So we are going to um, wash down the outside and then reapply some wax. Before we do that, we're going to hop up on the roof and we are going to clean everything off. We've got probably about 10,000 pounds worth of pine needles up there right now and all the little pine bombs, <laughs> pine cones, but they're like bombs when you're out here and they hit. They're big. They're huge. <laughs> so we're going to hop up on the roof and we're going to take care of that. We'll show you that. Doing a separate video on that, for those of you who may be interested, we applied Henry Tropical um, sealant on the roof and it's done fantastic for us. But there's been a lot of questions, a lot of comments, a lot of uh, negativity about it. And so we're gonna go up there and we're gonna show you how well it's held up. Because it is silicone, that's what has caused a lot of the uh, negativity towards it. But it's a different type of silicone. It's not like your typical silicone that RV dealers tell you not to use. Um, this was made for this type of roof um, and it is, basically guaranteed to stick to the EPDM or the TPO or whatnot. So. Yep, and we're gonna get up there and we're gonna show you what it looks like two years later with very little maintenance that we've done in the past. Haven't touched the roof in six months. And then as Lindsay said, we're gonna hop back down here and finish while we're all sopping wet. We might as well finish cleaning up the outside of the RV. We've got a really cool waxing tip that we're gonna show you that we do. And uh, yeah, let's quit talking. Let's get out there and do let's it. Go. So I'm up here on the roof and it is as I expected. There are tons of pine needles all over the place. Solar panels are covered in pine needles, uh, the entire roof. So we're gonna get the blower out. First thing I'm gonna do is blow everything down and that'll give us a better way of looking at uh, any damage that's done to the roof and to the Henry's Tropical in particular. I don't think there's gonna be any issues, but let's go ahead and do that. How'd you like your time on the roof? I never like her time on the roof. She's scared of I'm her. getting used to it though. I was pr I'm proud of you. I really am. That was, that was Not big. Not as scared anymore. <laughs> that was big of you. We managed to go ahead and clean the roof. We assessed some areas where we're going to need to fix with some uh, Henry spray. And we cleaned the solar panels, got all the, the uh, pine sap, beautiful ponderosa pines here, got all the sap off. And uh, the roof looks great. 
It does. It looks yeah. just nice like white again. when we applied it, almost exactly like when we applied it two and a half years ago. Again, we put Henry's Tropicool on there and uh, it's been a game changer for us. Our roof, we didn't have any active leaks, but we didn't want any leaks when we bought the RV. It was 20 years old when we bought it. And so we put the Henry's on and it's done a fantastic job. What else has done a fantastic job for us? The wax that we put on the RV. So we're going to go ahead. We use a floor wax and yeah, you might've heard of it. It's, um, it's, it's kind of a hack. Yeah, it's a hack. <laughs> it's not, not designed for RVs particularly, but it works perfectly it works really well. Super easy to put on. Um, it lasts a long time. So we're just reapplying, um, the five layers that we put on originally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that was fun. The so original we'll probably one probably go around twice. Yep, and this is Zep Floor Cleaner. Um, Zep Floor Polish. Zep Floor Polish. The wet look. Wet look Zep Floor Polish. So we are going to go ahead, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the RV. We're going to wash it like you would wash your car. And then we're going to go back around with the Zep and get it nice and polished. Yeah, yeah. And what that does, we've literally seen night and day difference when it comes to cleaning bugs, particularly bugs off the front. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier to go ahead and get the bugs cleaned off just has this nice layer of wax on there and doing what wax can do. So let's stop talking, let's get back to work. So when applying the Zep floor polish, the best thing to do is to wear gloves because this stuff is, I don't know how to, it's extremely like sticky. It will stick to your skin and it's hard to get off. So wear gloves. Um, we apply it with this uh, like Rubbermaid uh, mop, like sweeper kind of thing. Um, goes on best with that. Goes on very easily. It's not like a wax on, wax off. You just apply it. Um, very simple, very easy to do. Just you make sure that um, you wear the gloves and know that if you get it on the windows of your RV, it is extremely hard to get off. It will stay on there and you won't be able to get it off. So make sure that you do not allow it to drip onto your windows. Well, as you may or may not have noticed, Lindsay told you all this great stuff about how to use Zep and all that stuff, and then she, poof, she's not in the video. It's because she went to get her hair did, her hair done, her hair whatever, Southern to me coming out. Anyway, we are, um, I am all finished. We are all finished on the outside. The outside looks pretty fantastic. Um, Lindsay is more attention to detail. I more get the job done. So it's not as good as it could have been with two people. So definitely recommend if you have two people that can do the Zep job, um, I was going up top and then it was dripping down and usually Lindsay would be right there about knee level um, and just wiping down the lower parts. And so the, it would all be one continuous flow uh, around the RV and uh, that didn't happen today. I, I kind of did what I could do and so there are some places I'm not really, really happy with, but it's going to do the job. We are function over form people. We like the way things look, but we like them to work a lot better than, uh, than now they look. So in that case, it looks pretty decent. It's going to work perfect. The next thing we're going to have to do is pack and uh, clean the inside. Don't know how much of that we're going to show you, but we will uh, we'll be continuing on this journey. We leave in four days, and so this is all last minute. I hate procrastinating, but that's what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go procrastinate some more. Although we don't have a lot of room, we do have a fair amount of stuff, and uh, the longer we stay in an area, the more spread out we get. So that it requires some packing and unpacking and repacking and all that stuff. I'm gonna go do a little bit of that now. We're kind of, we've got another three days really before we have to go. And so it's not essential that everything is put away, put away like when we're traveling. Um, but I am gonna move some things around just so I feel personally better about where the things are and where they're put away for good. So one of the storage areas that I'm gonna look at 
is our back behind the, the bed, our storage area that we can access from outside. I'm gonna go ahead and move some things around there. And uh, really, I just have to make room for a big bag of dog food to go down with us to Baja. So um, I think everything else that's big has kind of got a home already. We just have to put it back in its home. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that. <laughs> 